Okay, so what I have here is a little in circuit programmer, Pogo programmer for the ESP12. Now, this board's pretty dense, and I didn't really have room for a, you know, purpose built header. I'm really packing it in on this guy, even on the bottom. I mean, there's some room, but you know, you don't want metal under the antenna. Anyway. I have an FTI converter going to my board, which has 3.3 volt regulator and pogo pins in the f footprint of the SP-12. And the nice thing about the SP-12, as you can see, it has two millimeter pitch holes. So I can got these two millimeter pitch headers, put the pogo pins into them, and now it lines up nicely with the through hole on the SP-12. Uh, I did I make a little mistake. You can see my pogo pins are at a severe angle because I flipped this board the wrong way around. Side to side wasn't <laughs> even, but that's no big deal. Still works fine. And I'm going to just show you me programming this sucker. Got a computer right here. I'm just going to go ahead and run Make Flash. Focus. And this guy, hopefully I can keep myself out of the way without breaking anything. So, I like to start by getting the ground pin set. Then I get the other, all the data pins, and I made the power pin recessed. So, that, now we're on. So now I can do make flash. Okay, and there you see it's actually running the Blink example code, and it is working. So it's not exactly ideal with the shield there, potentially shorting out any of your pins on the other side, if you lean it in a little too much. ESP12 Pogo, print, pin, Pogo Programmer. The standoffs and screws and pogo pins I got from SparkFun. If you want to get the schematics, there's a link to the GitHub with them on the Hackaday project page, which is linked down below the video.